Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sports Manzi, Bob Zolke. And today I want to talk about the um, recent Hall of Fame vote, the modern era ballot. You may have heard of it, you may have heard of the results. Apparently, two people were voted in Ted Simmons, who caught most notably for the St. Louis Cardinals and um, the Milwaukee Brewers during his career, and Marvin Miller. I'll get to Marvin Miller in a minute. Uh, Ted Simmons, I think, um, was deserving of getting in. And also, I want to mention that um, I had done a previous video with Chris Dufour where we discussed um, Dwight Evans' um, statistics and... Um, the, and the reason why he should have been voted into the Hall of Fame. And I still think he should get in or should have gotten in. But he didn't. He fell uh, four, I think, four votes short of getting into the Hall. So, on this vote. Um, but he was he was very deserving of getting in. But I think Ted Simmons was as well. I mean, Ted Simmons played for 20 years in the major leagues. You've got to be pretty good to uh, have st stuck around for 20 years. Uh, he had a uh, career war of 50.3, and he uh, hit 285 for his entire career with a 348 on base percentage um, and a 785 OPS. And to do that while well, you're a catcher um, is quite an accomplishment. He was an all-star um, eight times in his career. And among uh, catchers of his time period, only um, Johnny Bench, uh, Fisk, and, um, and Gary Carter were all-stars more than that. And, in fact, from 1971 to 1980, among catchers, based on war, among catchers that played during the time that um, Simmons played, only Johnny Bench was better. And he was only slightly better by war. Uh, it was a, a war of 45.3 to um, 45. I think so it was very close um, and Simmons had a reputation for being a disaster behind the plate and that's a that's a reputation that really was exaggerated and not wholly deserved and stemmed mostly from the early part of his career near the end of his career he had cleaned up his defensive play at catcher considerably and was more than adequate behind the plate. So it is good to see Simmons get in. I, I, you know, I mean, most of the players that were on the ballot, I wouldn't have really had a problem with any of them getting in. I still think that probably if you were to compare Dwight Evans for what Dwight Evans did and the fact that he was a right fielder and then consider that um, Simmons was a catcher and what he did, I still think Evans was probably more deserving of getting in and may even have been the most deserving player on the list. But, um, and if you haven't seen that video, I'm, uh, I'll put it as, as an end card on, at the end of this video so that you can go back and watch it uh, if you want to. Um, because Chris had a very good discussion about why Evans should have gotten in. Now, Marvin Miller. I'm not happy at all about Marvin Miller getting in. Marvin Miller is the man that started free agency. Marvin Miller is the reason that um, Bryce Harper has a $350 million contract. Marvin Miller is the reason that you have to take out a second mortgage to take your family to the ballpark to see a ball game. So I'm really not happy at all that he got in. In fact, it really makes me mad that he got in. I don't think he deserves to be in. That should never have happened. Um, you know, and 
it, there was a panel of players, of course, that were voting, so that probably had a great deal to do with why he got in. But, um, no, I'm not seeing it. Um, so I am kind of upset that he got in, especially since his name being on the list was taking away from more deserving people, probably, like Dwight Evans potentially getting in. I don't know if that's how it worked because I, he was like an administrator and um, and the players are players. So I don't know if they if he was like on a list of administrators and Simmons and um, and Whitaker and Dwight Evans were on a list of players and you had to vote on each of those separately. I don't know. But if they were all thrown on the same list, it's a shame that somebody who is making baseball unaffordable for the regular fan nowadays got into the Hall of Fame over somebody like Dwight Evans who really should be there or Whitaker or any of the other players that were on the list. So what do you guys think? I'd be very uh, interested in hearing what everyone out there thinks. Um, Leave me a comment below and let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you think I'm off base with my assessment of the situation. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and bring the bell so that you're notified when I have a new video out. Uh, but I just want to put that quick video out, let everybody know um, how that vote went and how I felt about it. But for right now, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.